Hello everybody, welcome watching another part from the series of online course, we can call it online course, how to repair the professional culture power washer HD class. In this particular case, it is culture commercial HD 5 slash 15 C plus. The video is delivered to you or was produced by AFG, advice from garage, email address advice from garage at gmail.com. What we will do in this part, we will put already repaired pump and motor into the body of the power washer, put the electric cable where it should be and add oil, oil has to be 15W40. What we will need, we will need a funnel, as you can see, we will need torque screwdriver, I think it's T20, a flat screwdriver, and what we will do, I can show you, there are some parts that we will put together, assembly. These are important, I'll show you them right away, how they should be, or where they should be. They should be in there, in this hole, I see, or you can see it now. And what they do, they hold, you can see this, those rubber parts over here and over here. And on the other side, on the other side they, are, they are the same. They block the, vi or the, the they stop the vibration and silence the machine when, op when it's operating. So, so the bottom part should be here and here. And those two plastics, you have to put them like this into the holes and place them there. Then we will slide the motor to this place. Just be careful because sometimes they can fall into the body of the power washer and then you have to shake them out. And the same we will do with the other one on the other side. Here, put it this way into the hole and then just just like that. And the same on the other side. And in the end we will connect the transparent pipes. Their size is DN5. What does that mean? It means that inside diameter of the pipe is five millimeters. The best ones are silicone ones. So that's 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 what all that's all what I wanted to tell you at the beginning of this video. Now I'll place the camera on the holder so I free my hands and show you how to do it. We can start. And as I as I mentioned we will put the motor with the cylinder head or brass pump inside the body of the power washer. But first of all, what we have to do is we have to take care of the electric cable. And what we have to do, because I, have, I got a longer one, I have to squash it a little bit. And push it through. Wait a second. And push it through the body of the power washer. So I can, I can get it on the other side. Now I have it. And now what I can do is I will just try to sli slide down the motor itself into the body of the power washer. Thank you. 
bulbuluş. side of the power washer and what you can do now is we can install or place those plastic covers that hold the, the top part or of the body of the motor in place side this part goes inside the body there is a special place for it and with the screw we just make sure that it's that it holds there that's it so now it's in there should be this part which which is connected to the piston set piston set or start stop ventil which operates an uh, starting and stopping machine when you pull the trigger on the gun and it is connected with something like that so I'll just connect connect it to the start stop ventil I probably won't see it now because and now I'll just slide it there. That's it. Nice and easy. It's in there. We can position power washer into upright position now. Maybe I'll, I'll connect this pipe for the deter detergent now. So I can slide it in, into here where it should be. It's alright. And now I'll just get it on the other side through the body of the power washer again inside there is a holder for it just get it there and that's it now we have it on the other side and as you can see we have our table here and this part holds electric cable where it should be. So we'll just slide it into this holder. Like this. Nice and easy. And it's in there. What can we do now? We can attach maybe this is the operating amount of the detergent that is put into the water so to these two parts we will just connect this pipe and another pipe that goes into the tank where you have some kind of liquid for washing or det detergent for washing so I'll do it now that's it and Like this, it should go like this. Another one. And I'll go through through here and fit it 
in there. All they can do now, or what I have to do now, is just place these transparent pipes into the body, slide this back cover over here, and you, sh you see, it's in there, it holds, and when you are going to wash your car or something with a detergent, you will just pull it out and place it into the detergent tank. Just don't forget, whenever you finish using detergent, just place this into the bucket or into the something where you've got clean water and let it through the system. That's it. And now I can just put the cable on the holder. fix it to another cable, like this, and that's it. Uh, now I can put back off in place turbo nozzle, it should be here, and maybe, maybe the, I'll, if I release these two screws, I can pull up the holder or whatever you call it, or handle. I won't do it now, it's not necessary, but you know how to do it. And the last part is, and it's vital, very important, to add oil. If you've got the power washer which is still under the warranty, Use, I recommend to use the Karcher, original Karcher 15W40 oil for power washers. Uh, my power washer is older, so I have consulted the thing with the authorized Karcher service and they told me that any 15W40 oil, for example, like this one, will do. It's a, it's a quite big difference. Original Karcher, 1 liter 15W40 oil cost over 25 euro, and those premium quality ones you can get for less than 10 euro. So, I'll, I'll disconnect the top of the tank, or the cover of the tank, and pour in the oil. Before that, I'll show you, there are two marks on the tank. Minimum level, over here, and maximum level. In authorized service, I was told that the best way, after repairing machine and after changing all, all these groove rings and O-rings and oil seals, is to pour the oil in right between the minimum and maximum. Then run machine for one or two minutes and oil and everything settles and then you can add level that is, that is needed. It's still the best way to have it in the middle between the lines of minimum and maximum. So I'll do it now. I'll use the funnel or I'll, I'll try. Slowly.
okay. It should work right now. The level of the oil is somewhere between the minimum and maximum level. I think it's roughly less than half of the liter of the oil. We will see how much of the oil we will need to add after a few minutes of testing or a minute of testing. Now I can put the back, put the back cover of the oil tank. So it's all right. Put the put back the this part where you connect the hose over here. Or I'll do it after I install the front cover of the machine. Here is the screw. So just proper way how the front cover fits and when it's done just tighten the screw with the I've got screw for the flat screwdriver so with the flat screwdriver just tighten the screw using I just temporarily put this kind of filter but always use original filters for power washers whether it's catch or other brand but always use filters you can save this way a lot of money because you won't damage the water seals and all others all other o-rings and groove things and as well so that's everything for the moment at least what I wanted to tell you about how to repair or fix the culture power washer HD class commercial one HD5 slash 15C. I hope you have enjoyed this watching this video, you have learned something. I would like to thank you for watching. Good luck, have a nice day.